Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. We are on day 1909 of our trek, and it is time to explore another nugget of wisdom, which includes an inspirational quote, along with some wise words from Gramps for today's trek. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge, so we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. This is Gramps. Thanks for coming along on today's trek as we increase wisdom and create a living legacy. We are told in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16, how much better to get wisdom than gold and sound judgment than silver. If you apply the words that you hear today, over time, it will help you to become more healthy, wealthy, and wise as you continue on your daily trek of life. So let's jump right in with today's nugget. And today's quote is from Henry Ward Beecher, and it is, Affliction comes to the believer, not to make him sad, but sober, not to make him sorry, but wise. Even the plow enriches a field so that the seed is multiplied a thousandfold. So affliction should magnify our joy and increase our spiritual harvest. So today's nugget is joy magnified. Until we gain a proper perspective of affliction, we will always be discouraged, depressed, and playing the role of a victim. Everyone faces affliction during various seasons of life. No one is exempt. As Christ followers, this is part of the maturation process. Affliction to bring a time of contemplation and wisdom. A seed will never grow unless it is first planted in soil that has been disrupted and turned inside out. When the seed is planted, it not only produces a plant, but it will multiply that single seed into untold thousands. Yet the seed must first endure hardship and even be destroyed so that new life can spring from its core. When affliction pierces our lives, it should magnify our joy and increase our harvest by laying down our lives to bring forth a harvest of blessing into the lives of others. And our passage for today is John chapter 12, verses 24 through 26. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone. But its death produces many new kernels, a plentiful harvest of new lives. Those who love their lives in this world will lose it. Those who care nothing for their life in this world will keep it for eternity. Anyone who wants to serve me must follow me, because my servants must be where I am. And the Father will honor anyone who serves me. And as you ponder this nugget of wisdom for yourself, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,908 treks or read the wisdom journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. In addition, I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player to automatically download each day's trek. Finally, if you'd like to receive our weekly newsletter called Wisdom Notes, please email me at guthrie at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, Lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.